everybody, I'm back. Uh, welcome back to my Shabby Craft Studio. And this is part two of the paper bag clutch and journal that I'm doing. And uh, part one, I will link below. And that's if I remember. <laughs> and this is part two. So this is the... Uh, cover I worked on in part one and I did a little bit of napkin decoupage. I tore out a butterfly from one of the paper sheets. This is a bird that I cut out of a book and another little bit of napkin down here which pretty much matches <laughs> matches the theme of the paper here. And this paper is from Roxy Creations, Rachel over there. Um, it's a new set of papers that she has. And so we did the, the cover. And what I did was I glued the two sides together. I have not sewn them. And I took a strip of paper similar to this. And I folded it in half. Um, the two edges were, <laughs> were even. This one did not tear well, so I didn't use it. Fold it in half, glued it. And I put them on like this. And so I glued the two edges together. I'll show you on this one. This is a little little wet still because I just um, put matte medium on the cover on the outside. So I glued this cover down here, this edge and this edge. All right. And then I put the paper over the edge and glued it and it's it's pretty secure um, I feel like that would hold if you want to sew it along this edge and this edge you can I also put at the end of that video I think I put papers on either edge of the pocket here um, so that fold this back so that the pocket is reinforced and of course I lined this pocket here and so um, well actually I lined <laughs> I did not line that pocket I lied I lined that pocket there I did not line this pocket but that's okay you could you could cover this whole inside so that the inside is covered but there's so many layers on this now that I think it's pretty sturdy um, I have not Put gel matte medium on this. I did ink around the edges. So I wanted to catch you up on what I did with that. And now, um, then I took the white paper bag. In the last video, I showed you the white paper bag. And these are a couple of papers that I did myself. They are not on my webs. I mean, um, they're not in my shop or anything. They were just a couple of papers I made up when I did my hydrangea journal. And I, I'm just experimenting with making my own digitals at the moment. This is napkin decoupage, which is a little bubbly right now. But when it dries, it should be okay. And um, this inside paper is one of my own also. So I did take some paper. And what I did this time was I took an entire sheet of paper. So if you take an entire sheet of paper... And you fold it in half like this. Well, actually, you're going to fold it in half like this. And for this size paper bag, you do have to cut a little bit off. So I had to cut maybe three quarters of an inch off. It fits inside, okay? And then when you get it inside, gluing it is really tricky. I've tried two different kinds of glue. I tried the Fabri-Tac on the first one. And I tried the glue stick on the second one. They were both really tricky to get in. And I had to reinforce the glue on the glue stick one. Because by the time I got it in the bag without sticking to the wrong place, um, it was dried out. <laughs> so, so I just skipped that. Um, and then what you want to do is, is fit it. I don't want to cut this one because I'm not doing another bag. But you fit it so it goes inside. Don't put it all the way inside. Have some of it sticking out and fold this edge over so it overlaps and reinforces this edge of the bag. 
Um, I did not do that on this one. I forgot. I was struggling so much to get it in there that I put the edges even with the edge of the bag, and you can see that it's gapping right there. So I did not do that. So now I will have to take a separate piece of paper and do the edges. And I'm trying to avoid the extra steps. So if you remember, try and remember to leave some of that paper sticking out so that you can um, fold it over the edge. When I did the outside cover, I remembered to leave an edge up here so I could fold about a, <laughs> it's, it's very small, about a quarter of an inch. I folded over on that one. When I did the inside cover, I forgot to push it that way and leave enough to fold over. So that's, I'm gonna have to make up for that by using a separate piece of paper, folding it in half, and folding it over and reinforcing the edge. I feel like because you're gonna use that as a pocket, it's just gonna give it so much more support. So it's just a good idea to do it. Um, and what I'll probably do, this is, this is another, these are the papers that I used. Um, these ones here and this is not the paper that I used inside but it's another paper in that series so I think what I will do is tear this edge off and uh, pity to waste it but you know I printed it off with my ruler everything is buried it's a pity to waste it but the pictures on it but I can print more because it's in my computer So we're going to finish up, I will just demonstrate here, we're going to finish this one up um, and hopefully move on to the journal part of that. So this is all I do. I, I tear a strip off maybe three quarters of an inch thick. Um, you don't want it too thin because you really need to make sure that you have enough to overlap. And then I'm folding it all the way across, even though I know it's going to be too long. I'll just tear the extra off. Measure. And it's not really all that extra long. <laughs> and then I'm going to um, glue. And I had, I had a paper towel to glue on. I have not gotten used to using book pages to glue on yet. I don't know why I can't make that a habit. It just seems really weird to me that so many other people do it, and I cannot make a habit out of it. <laughs> I started using um, freezer paper and paper towels and I just find it easier to just throw the paper towel away but I'm starting to use book pages I just have not um, gotten used to it yet so you just want to put it up to the fold edge to edge whoopsies of course it's giving me a hard time of course this is my second video today and I'm not used to doing one video a day, let alone two, but I'm hoping to get this one at least recorded, and then I can, it's just, just a niche too long, so I gotta tear it off. Now my glue is dried, so there you go. Take too long, if you fuss too much, the glue just dries out on you. <laughs> Oh, golly gee whizzickers. I don't know. Anywho's, um, I have an eye doctor appointment in the morning, which is the one that I have before, I think it's in the morning. I don't know. I have so many eye doctor's appointments coming up, I can't keep track of when they are. And... I don't always get a lot of time to record over the weekends because Tony always wants to 
gallivant around town. So today was my one day this week I got to stay home and it's been wonderful. But evening is coming and it's not very bright out so I hope the, the light is okay. And I've also been doing the, um, I don't know if I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to reinforce this glue. And I'll, I'll also reinforce this, the edges of the top of the bag, which will be the pocket of the bag because, um, they do tear. And if you're going to be taking stuff in and out of the pocket, you don't want the edges tearing. And that's what happened on my other one. Um, that's what happened on this one. And I will show you that I did go back and sew it and I put paper on the edges I glued paper on the edges just like I showed you I did on this one and then I sewed it so it's extra reinforced now it's it's papered it's glued and it's sewn <laughs> so if it rips now then I'm just being too rough with it right um so that that was at least doable and the journal still felt fit inside so I felt like that was a good thing um, phew, I'm getting warm. I turned my little space heater up that I have in here and, um, and put an extra shirt on and now I'm warm <laughs> and I have the door shut so that I can record and not bother Tony and he's not bothering me. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite, quite warm in here right now. I'm having a flash. It's not a blinding flash of the obvious either. It's definitely a flash of, holy cow, I'm warm. Okay. So. Just fold that in half. I know I said we were going to work on the other one, but I get started on these things. And, like, if I don't do it now... I'll forget to reinforce these edges. If I if I don't do it right now and I leave it to wait, then I'll forget. I, I mean, I just will. I know I will. All right. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, That's the edge I want. You've seen this before. I put the edge of um, a foil wrapper ripper strip thing on my ruler and I glued it and taped it down and it works pretty well. Um, probably doesn't work as well as the tear rulers. Someday I will either pay to have one of those rulers that you can get overseas over in the UK and such um, I'll either pay to have it shipped here or I'll pay somebody to ship me one or <laughs> or they'll have them in the US I just like the metal ones so much better than the plastic ones I don't like that hard uh, plastic stuff it just it annoys me to touch it it's a tactile thing and it's a sound thing. Like, I just, I don't know, I just can't take those things. So, and I'm mixing up my papers here. I mean, that's what collage is about, right? So these little papers I made, they're sort of collage papers. This is still sort of wet, so I'm trying to make sure this stuff sticks. Come on. Glue overboard. And and I'm okay with it being messy. I don't want it to be all frou-frou fancy. But I thought that turned out nice too. Okay, we're putting that one aside because it has to dry. I'll stick you over by the Buddha. Okay, you stay over there. Now, what do I do with my pin? Squint one eye. Alright, so... We're going back to this one. Um, we could sew it all around here. I don't 
I don't think I'll sew this one. I'll probably sew my other one. But just to sew, <laughs> just to show you that it can be glued and it, you don't have to have a sewing machine, I'm not going to sew this one. So this is the one I made with the Roxy Creation papers. And let's bury this under here. Now, uh, the envelopes. So I'm using these two tea dyed envelopes, which hubby, it's his job to tea dye. Uh, I need to reinforce. I was going to try punching a, a hole to make a window in these, but I don't have, <laughs> strangely enough, I don't have a square punch. And I went to two different stores this weekend and could not find a square punch in Michael's, not one big enough, in Michael's or in Hobby Lobby. And the Hobby Lobby punch section, they have shrunk it down so much, there's almost nothing left to it. And, um, yeah, so, okay, so two envelopes. I made sure that if I put these together like this with the flap, one flap inside the other, okay, if I do that and fold this over, I made sure that this would fit in the big pocket, okay? So what I'm going to do is take that off and take that off. And I am going to glue, even though it's sticky, I'm still going to glue. Uh, that one's going to go inside that one. Oh, yep, it's sticky. <laughs> so I'm going to stick this one inside of that one maybe maybe I'll make it in time before it dries oh I should not make videos late in the afternoon not a good thing I'm much more awake in the mornings okay all right I'm gonna put this I'm going to put this back on here on the sticky part just to make sure that the envelope doesn't stick down to the to the flap because you don't want that necessarily to happen yet. Okay. I'll close it. Yeah, it's pretty lined up. <laughs> it's not perfect, but nothing I do ever is. All right. So on this one, what I'm going to do maybe what I am going to do is I am going to close how am I going to do this I am going to close this edge so I'm just going to glue that down and I'm going to glue that down all right and then I'm going to choose my papers. So let's see. Because I don't have a window in here, I don't really have to worry about, you know, about the window showing or what to put in the window or anything like that. So let me, let me, Pull out some more Rachel papers so it matches up. I printed off a bunch more papers again. <laughs> Although I didn't print off any more Rachel papers. Rachel, where are you? You're here somewhere. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Okay, Rachel papers. Beautiful, beautiful Rachel papers. Okay, let's see what do I want. So we can sort of coordinate here. I like that. So I think we're going to put that on the outside. Yes. Okay. We are going to put... <laughs> we're 
we're still a little sticky on the inside. Okay, so I want to make sure I get edge to edge coverage here. stick to uh, oops Some gobbers of glue I don't want that my glue is very soft because it's warm in here <laughs> it was cold all day and I finally warmed up Evan and I are shut in here. Gabby was not in the room when I shut the door. I think I'm going to go this way, actually. I really... <clears throat> I love my butterflies. I'm going to do it this way. Between my wonky eyes... And my wonky gluing of my envelopes together. Let me make sure. Well, I missed a little bit. That's okay. We'll figure that out. Missed a little bit in this corner. <laughs> but I think we have a solution to that anyway. So I'm going to squint and cut. Squint and cut. Such pretty paper. Really, really like this papers. All right. So there's the the outside. Boy, I'm glad I have this mat down. Nothing sticks to it. And then. That's pretty. But I need something to fill in. This on the other side. Nah. I'm put this on the other side. <laughs> Do you know? Maybe. Okay, I gotta find something else. Like this. Will that fit? No. Like this. No. <laughs> got it. Hold on. Ah, I think I got it. Me and my butterflies, right? Who wouldn't have known that was coming? Actually. I think I'm gonna do this side because I really like these flowers too. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I'm not using my paper towel. Again, this mat is good for that. I it's very easy to clean up. Glitter glue because I'm weird like that. But my edges with glue stick never, I don't care how well I glue all the way to the edge. So I've just given up. Um, okay, this is right side up. Let's see if I can do it this way and get it right. Okay, close enough. Close enough. So pretty. Okay. Hi, Rachel. I hope you're watching at some point. I know you're as behind on videos as I am, so it's okay. Even if it's down the road a piece.
All righty. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out a little bit. Save a little overlap. And I have a line to follow, which is nice. Save a little overlap here. If you notice, I left a little overlap there too. So, don't love it. Don't love it. But, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to cut that off because I think, I think, oopsie. I think I'm going to cut this edge of this envelope anyway. We don't need the overlap. There we go. I'm going to cut this edge as well. Boo! Okay, come on. You've got this. All right. So I cut that edge open, and I cut that edge open. And... I know better than to try and fold these while they're wet because they don't they don't do very well. I may just fold that over for no, I'm using too much. Nah. Try not to cut this edge of the envelope open. My eyes are tired, so I'm not seeing so well. Okay. You know, getting old isn't for the weak of heart. I'm telling you. All right. So I've got the inside and I've got the outside. So let's look at the other one I made. I had to keep referring back to the, um, to Gina's video. <laughs> See, so I have the insides and the outsides done. On this one, I left those pockets open, but they're bigger pockets, so I didn't want to do that on this one. So now, really, what I need is, I just need papers to go inside. And if I want to embellish the outside a little more. Um, shoot, let's see. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do the pages first. And then I'm going to, I tend to do the pages first, and then the covers sort of speak to me later on. When I get the inside done, the outside finishes speaking to me about what it wants to be. So I'm okay with that. I don't know what happened to the bottom of this print. <laughs> I, I don't know. It just sort of faded off into the sunset there. Okay, let me test. That kind of work. It's a little bit small, but that's okay. If I fold that in half, it fits inside. All right. And all I did was, I have a Windows computer so in my Windows photo program, it just says, you know, when I tell it I want to print a, a, make a print, a photo, it asks me, what size do you want to make it? Do you want to make it 8x10, 5x7? What size do you want it? It's not cut very straight, but that's how I do anyway. And so I just told it to do um, <laughs> that has to be right side up, right? Yeah, that's right side up. So I printed this twice, and I'm going to use these twice because why not? One of these might end up being a mini journal cover. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, if you want to do it 5 by 7 you can tell it 5 by 7 If you want to do it 8 by 10 you can do it 8 by 10 If you want 4 by 6 you can do 4 by 6 
Um, now the other thing you can do if you're savvy enough is you can open a photo in your word processing or Photoshop, uh, not Photoshop. Um, what is the name of the other program I use? That's a really good question. Oh, the brain is tired. There's another program I use. And, um, not Excel. PowerPoint. I knew it started with a P. Oops. You can open it in PowerPoint and um, you can, uh, sorry, I'm thinking you can, you know, manipulate it to whatever size you want it in, in PowerPoint as well. So let's see, I actually need these to be, this cover is almost six and a half. So if I made the pages six and a quarter by three and a half. That would be good. Six and a quarter by three and a half. Three and a half and three and a half is seven. So it'd be seven. And then six and a quarter. Okay. Six and a quarter. <laughs> okay. All right. So about there. Let's see. Oops. Get the tear part up there because that's not my my teeth from the and that's not straight. My teeth from the um that I put on there from the from the uh aluminum foil bit are not as long as this metal ruler is. So yeah, there's that too. <laughs> so you gotta make sure that you have it on there all the way along the edge there. No idea if this is straight. Probably not. Okay, wonky doodles as usual. So seven. Holy cow is that off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes. All right, we're going to do it the old fashioned way. Oh, Martha. This, this really is bad. This is very, very bad. So we are going to. I'm just not a terror expert like everybody else is. So I want this to be seven ish. Seven, sort of, kind of ish. Okay. Struggle, struggle, struggle. I want this side. <laughs> yep. Okay. So this is going to fold in half like this. Because we've got to have one of Rachel's labels on there, right? And we're going to have a short page like this. And we're going to have a skinny page like this, I think. Yeah, why not, right? And the skinny page. And then I'm going to put some other pages in between. So don't fret. Don't worry. Don't think I am... Losing my mind, even though I am. Uh, <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Seven. Seven. Okay. And uh, six. I think I said. Did I say six? Who knows? I have like four pages out of printed paper and then we're gonna do if you want to see what I'm moving around 
my husband, my sweet, sweet husband. Can you read that? I don't know if you can read it. It says, we create ourselves as we go. And it's, there you go. And it's from Hallmark. And the artist is uh, Lynn Guinta. And she's a Hallmark artist. And I love, I'm, I'm a Hallmark movie kid. So my husband got me this t-shirt yesterday. This is my Hallmark movie watching shirt. <laughs> See? T-shirt. So, yeah, I have to wash that. But I'm keeping the bag because I want to frame that saying because I really, really like it. Okay, so we're going to do this one. But I think I'm going to do this one just as it is. And then fold it in. Uh, I keep getting these phone calls. From people I don't want to talk to. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, doesn't it? You know, telemarketers, collection agencies that have nothing to do with me. <laughs> I don't owe anybody anything. Scam calls. I, I just, I get tired of it. So my phone is on vibrate and it, that's where it's staying. I don't want to deal with them. All right, didn't I take some, um, I thought I had some papers out that were, I did, I put them over here, right, I did, remember that, remember I had these papers, okay, so I'm gonna, hmm, This is, tell me how tall this is again. It's uh, six. Six tall. Six tall. Six tall. Six. Six tall. Okay. You have no clue how much it kills me to cut paper. Even though my husband's been really good and, and has me stocked up on paper, like coming out my ears paper, I had I, I had to tell him to stop tea dyeing paper because I had so much. I hate cutting paper. <laughs> it kills me. I just don't do well when I have to cut paper. So where are my sheets then? Right? Where, where are my sheets? So... I think we're going to use six. Use one of these. Hold that on her. And where's my, um, come out, come out wherever you are. My collaged papers, you know, the, the, Ones I showed you earlier. <laughs> I can't find them. I can't find them. I'm not usually this scattered. Honest to goodness. I mean, yeah, I can be scattered, but not like this. This is sad. I'm having a tough time. Oh, for heaven's sakes. here. I might be MIA, but I'm here. There they are. My collaged papers. Okay. I'll use some of these too. That way it's a good reason to make more, right? And I'll just take two. And these need to be Six inches tall. And then I will fold those in. I'm going to use some of this too. Six inches tall. And four 
of these in there. And that one is this one. Okay. needs to this needs to be chopped down a little <laughs> I do not cut straight so this ought to be fun good enough it's all about having fun hold this in And this is just how I did the other one. I just took a bunch of papers, cut them and fold them to whatever fit, and put them in between each other, and called it good. All right. That one inside of that one, and that one inside of that one, and that one inside of that one. Hope that checks that up. Yep. And then I need like to put, I don't know if I can cut this to the right size. taller than I, I was aiming for. I'm going to try and do this straight. Okay. And yeah, not straight. <laughs> straight, not straight. That's okay. We can always tear it, right? I think that's thick enough. It's getting getting kind of chunky. So we got to be careful because you want it to still fit in here. I can't tell if the writing is right side up or upside down. <laughs> Cuz you know, can't see. <laughs> All right, so this is going to fit in here like this. And all I'm going to do is I just sew it right down the center. I think I'm going to move where this is, where this tissue paper is. I'll move that there. Yep, I like that better. Not so flimsy in the center. I may move this one too. Printable there, a little printable there, printable there, printable there. Maybe I'm going to move this one right there. Okay, that works. So what I do is I just 
collect it all, make sure my pages are sort of where I want them. And I had a clicker. Of course, I only have one. Because <laughs> not prepared. Okay. I'm going to let's see if I can uh, pull my machine over on this mess here real quick. Oh my gosh. Cover the glue, Martha. At least put the cover on the glue stick. All right. Um, oh, my machine is very heavy. I keep... Okay. All right. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, the lights came on. All righty. So I am just lining it up inside my cover where I want it. I have it on... Getting very close because <laughs> you can't see. And hope I'm aiming towards the middle. All right. Now that was a lot of papers for that machine to go through, but it worked. So I have, now you could do, you know, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can do um, the pamphlet stitch and just poke three holes and just sew in and out those holes and you'll get it. And that'll, that'll be it. So I want to leave these edges open, right? And I didn't sew across the top or bottom because I just didn't, didn't think about it before I started sewing the signature in. So I just wanted to show you how I would do that part. And I'm going to, let me turn this off. Back over there. And get my hole punch. And just so you know, it's a pocket here. I am going to sort of try and aim for the center. But I'm only doing the inside one. And I'll do the inside one on the other side as well. And that way, when you open it up, you see that there's a little pocket here. And I will ink that. And that way, you can put something in there. And I think I'm still going to put some... Oh my... I'm going to put, oh dear, I know I'm making a lot of noise over here, aren't I? Let's see, where is my, I am looking for my lace, don't you know, can't find it, I'm a spool of lace, and it's almost gone. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Martha's luck today, huh? I have more. I just have to get up and get it. Okay. I got the tape off the end. So what I will do is, because I have the inside edge of this as an opening with a thumb hole, I'm just going to put my lace right along here. Okay. And I just glue it down with my art glitter glue. And it seems to stay really nice. I mean, if you don't pull on it too hard, right? And because I'm not sewing on this edge, on my other one I sewed on this edge to sew the, the lace down. Don't have to do that on this. And this isn't really lace. It's a, it's a crocheted trim. But then when it sticks out of the pocket, I really like the way it looks. There you go. And I will get some more and do the back edge of this. Oh, that wasn't a very good cut at all, Martha. There we go. 
I will put another one on the back edge of this, but this is how it's going to look. There. And then there will be another piece here. And then in the next video, um, I will make the mini journal to put in the front there. And we will do the closure. How much time do I have? I have 10 minutes. If I'm, if I'm good, <laughs> well, that went the appropriate place. <laughs> the empty spool of, of um, stuff went right in the trash. <laughs> and I wasn't even aiming for it. Okay, there's my glue pin. Glue pin, glue pin. Let's click one eye. Okay, we are going to get... Uh, I don't know if that was the right size. Hold on. Hold that thought. <laughs> yeah. Here's the big bite. Okay. So what we're going to do is sort of aim for the center. Put the big bite on three sixteenths. Let's see. I think it'd be right about there. Oh, I hope that's right. Okay. And then we're going to put it back up there and do the... What color do I want? Um, let's do this pretty silvery gray metallic gunmetal gray thing. I think it is. That'll look pretty with the background of Rachel's papers. And put that in. I'm just going to... Oh, shoot. I was going to do a different closure on this one. All right. I'll do the other closure on the next one. Okay. Not too hard. Perfect. All righty. And this is going in here. And if I want to put a closure around this, I will figure that out. And then we can decorate the inside or not. I could just leave it as is. And instead of making a mini journal, maybe I'll make some ephem ephemera to put in here. And whoever wanted to do their own could do their own. I've seen a couple of those being done. And, you know... And we'll just close it up with, what are we going to close it up with? Um, let me grab, let me grab, oh, I know, hold that thought. I have something over here. Let's see if this fits. This came off some fabric that I have, that I bought um, in a roll. Hopefully when I sat down, I didn't bounce you too hard. Let's see if this looks nice. Might not. It might be too brown. Oops. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty, I think. Isn't that pretty? I might find another one. Maybe I'll do lace. I don't know. Don't know that I like the brown. Meh. I'll find something else. And then I have these little snippets I've been making. I think that's what they are. Like little collages with fabric and buttons and lace. And I've just been having a blast with these. So I might just put... I don't want to cover up the birdie, though. I don't want to cover up the flower, either. Well, maybe this won't go on there. Maybe this... We'll go on here. I kind of like it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's how to make the mini journal that goes inside of the... Um, and with these pockets, I could put ephemera in there, too. <laughs> now that I think about it. So that's how to make the pouch out of the paper bag, the clutch and the mini journal out of the envelopes. 
and then you can add whatever you want after that. So when I work on this some more, I will turn the camera back on and we'll do some more. Hope you weren't too bored to tears. If you were, you know, you can always speed it up. Thanks for watching. Have a great crafty day. Bye, everybody. My husband's making fun of me now.